When I was growing up, it was a unique family lifestyle. I'm so grateful to have had it. Um, Mum was a strong Catholic, so we'd go to church, but Dad, his church was the forest, the rainforest, or, or going bush. So he'd pack us up as kids, you know, backpack on, on the back and just take us into wild places. And he'd make us sit quietly. Everyone had to be completely silent and he'd go listen to the sounds. The area here is so, it's, it's such a calming area. It's the air, the, the sounds, it's, it's the bush, the water, everything, everything about it is, is so calming. Nightfall is an uh, ecotourism business uh, and we, we really wanted to go that way. So we started right from the buildings, all the floorings, or recycled timber. The tents are set up so they can be relocated, stripped down. It's a light footprint. We're so close to the National Park. We're roughly one and a half hours from Brisbane and Gold Coast. We have four guest tents on site. Uh, they're set up for couples with a king-size bed, open rain head shower, twin bath. We live in a tent ourselves. We actually built ours first, so we were living in that so we could get the whole feel of, of the tent and how we would do the layout of, of the glamping tents for the guests. It's also being um, authentic that you don't say to guests, oh, we live in this luxury house across the stream. We live in a tent and we're living the dream. This is our dream and we're living it. We're living this simple existence. When we first moved to the property, it was pretty much the shed, which had little living quarters inside. So it was perfect for us with a blank canvas to set up the design for the, for the glamping tents. The glamping experience, it has you open to nature. So yeah, you can roll down the canvas walls and be sort of cocooned and protected and have those warming elements like fire, but still experiencing the water and the magic of the water through the, the vintage baths and you know, the, the rain shower. It's elemental as it, everything's stripped back. It's, it's simple, your surroundings are simple. You're completely open. You can see the trees, you can breathe the clean air, that pure clean air. And then there's the earth. You've got these cliffs that again, they're like these guardians that are standing there they're also giving you this great show. They're constantly showing light and reflecting light in a different way. It's quite mesmerizing. You can sit at the front of your glamping tent and just be immersed in that, yeah. A big um, you know, dream in the beginning was to be growing a lot of our food, um, which the, then with the food was that inspiration that came into the kitchen and that the, the bush food element, the bush food orchards that we have here, and also wild harvested foods. So I've got quite a bit of knowledge um, about that, knowing you know, what foods in, in the bush can be harvested and then made into delicious side dishes or a complement you know, to our food. About you know, 20 metres from the nightfall kitchen, nice little rock hop, down to the stream, we have this abundance of watercress. And it's so lush and juicy and, and every weekend, go down and pick a nice big handful of, of watercress, bring it back to the nightfall kitchen and again your Australian bush nuts and I use nutritional yeast which is really high in your B vitamins, that freshly squeezed lemon from the garden here and um, whiz it all up and toss that through a bit of Israeli couscous and that's part of the lunchbox as well. One of the guests' favourite breakfasts is my version of Baghdad eggs. I've kind of refined it to make it a little bit um, a cleaner. We're using the poached eggs and the, the butter and the garlic and the lemon juice and the cumin and paprika and fresh chopped mint from the garden. And then that's, of course, served down by the water the first morning of the guest day. Each table is, has their own special little spot. 
so it's essential and so important to us um, through all the glamping tents that wherever possible we are non-toxic and eco so our linen and our bedding uh, from the even the toppers underneath your sheets they're a biodynamic Australian wool and then they're topped with a beautiful satin like um, organic cotton um, blessed earth which are Australian it's Australian company same with um, servicing the tents um, it's all done with eco cloths you know special fibers and your basic cleaning things like bicarb soda <laughs> cleaning vinegar and eucalyptus oil does all you need. <laughs> the glamping tents were all designed and built on site. We did most of the work ourselves. We have our own machinery to do you know, the digging and, and whatnot. The site was fairly heavily covered with lantana. We didn't want to just go in and clear the whole lot because erosion and also there's a lot of little birds that love to live in the lantana and you, you can see them from your tent when all the sides are rolled up and lying in bed, you see them in the morning, yeah, so it's great. It hasn't run, yeah, it hasn't been a smooth, smooth operation all the way through. Uh, it took a few years just getting it out of the ground and, and also because the, the tents are unique, like we designed and built them ourselves and we wanted something different, we knew we had to have something different. It does take a lot of work just running the day-to-day -day operations of nightfall and we do try and after the after the guests have gone and we're here on our own we do try and get some relaxation time down by the water whether it's a cup of tea or a beer or a glass of wine uh, and unwind. I love being at nightfall probably mainly for the location. It really is a valley that has this magic energy about it. It calls me here and I'm, it's like my heart is at peace here. It feels settled. It is important for everybody to get away from their day-to-day -day lives. I mean, I've been there, I've, I've, I've lived it in the, in the cities, run businesses in the cities. Things are getting faster and faster. So you do need to be able to get away come to places like this, switch off, switch everything off and just take in, take in the fresh air, 